Hello everyone, Mr. Matemera here. Today we are learning about the problem of scarcity. The basic economic problem involves three things, namely scarcity, making choices, and opportunity cost of those choices. There are two types of scarcity. These are absolute scarcity and relative scarcity. Now, what is absolute scarcity? Absolute scarcity occurs when resources are enough to purchase a good or a service, but the good or a service is not available. Let's take an example. If there is an inadequate harvest of wheat, there would be an absolute scarcity of wheat and or bread because none would be available. When it comes to absolute scarcity, you have to know that resources are available. You have the means. So in this case, you have your money, but the good or service is not available. In this case, we see that in the shelves there is no bread, but the money to buy the bread is available. Now, what is relative scarcity? Relative scarcity occurs when there are enough goods to satisfy the people's needs, but the population or most of the people are very, very poor. They cannot afford to buy the goods and services. This is what usually happens in developing countries. We find that there are goods in the shops, but people don't have the money to buy the goods. So we are saying goods or services are plenty, as we can see here, but resources are not available. The society does not have money. Let's look at the differences between these two, absolute scarcity and relative uh, scarcity. When we are talking about absolute scarcity, goods or services are not available. But when we are talking about relative scarcity, the goods or services are available. Secondly, society may afford the goods or services when we are talking about a absolute scarcity. But for relative scarcity, society is too poor to afford the goods or services. The supply is limited. Here, supply is not limited. Thank you.